Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your favorite radio enthusiast here, ready to dive into the world of ham radios. If you're a beginner looking to get into this exciting hobby, you're in the right place. We're going to break down the top five ham radios for beginners today. So get ready, and let's get started. Price information and all ham radios mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number five, Ocean KG UV9 PX. Best interface ham radio for beginners. Ocean KG UV9 PX is a powerful ham radio that's particularly suited for beginners, preppers, and regular users alike. This radio is packed with features with a great interface, but let's unravel them in a balanced way, examining both the advantages and downsides. First of all, it comes with an intriguing feature, a code plug that's pre-programmed with 859 channels. This takes the sting out of the often complicated process of programming a radio, especially for beginners. Some users might find very little use for this approach, although beginners will appreciate it since it takes out the hassle of programming the radio. Also, in an SHTF, or when things go south situation, this extensive variety could be a lifesaver. Now, if you'd like to get your hands dirty, so to speak, and enjoy tailoring your radio settings, the KG UV9PX won't disappoint. Programming it is feasible through Chirp or the included software. For minor adjustments, it is front panel programmable, which makes for convenient access to the settings. A key point to highlight about this radio is its simple and user-friendly interface. Ocean has done an excellent job keeping its menus and display clean and uncluttered. The large display with its dark background and customizable colored text presents a lot of information in a a visually pleasing way, which makes general use of the radio convenient. Let's move on to performance. The KG UV9PX employs a super heterodyne receiver for better signal reception and transmission quality. TX voice is good too, but it's worth noting that some sound distortion can occur when transmitting, which might slightly impact the clarity of the transmitted voice. Built to last, this radio is ensconced in a shell-rated IP55, making it resistant to water to a degree. However, it's essential to understand that it's merely water resistant, not waterproof. The KG UV9PX is part of the Ocean KG UV9 series, which also includes radios like KG UV9GX. These radios are practically identical, but the KG UV9GX is a GMRS radio, while the KG UV9PX is a dual band ham radio, transmitting on 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands. A standout feature of this radio is that it's a true dual band receive device with full duplex operation. It can simultaneously receive two channels, which may be a bit overwhelming for some, but a true blessing for those who love this setting. As for battery, the radio boasts a robust 3200 mAh lithium-ion battery, which can keep it running for a day. However, if you're using the radio at its highest power setting, at 8 watts, expect a fast battery drain. Even the screen seems to be a battery hog. In conclusion, while the Ocean KG UV9PX does have a few shortcomings, its user-friendly interface, pre-programmed options, and a host of features make it a solid choice for beginners. Our rating for value for money is 7.5 out of 10. Audio clarity, 9 out of 10. Programming, 8 out of 10. Battery and charging, 9 out of 10 for an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number four, Zygu G90 HF Radio, best base station capable radio for beginners. Zygu G90 high frequency radio isn't just a cheap high frequency radio that you buy solely for the price. It's a high frequency radio that is ideal as a base station for beginners. The price tag is the cherry on top of all that this radio has to offer. The compact unit measures 1.77 inches in length and 4.72 inches in width and has a depth of 8.26 inches. That alone will give you plenty of flexibility to install or place this radio where you want it. But Zygu goes the extra mile here. It has four extension handles that can screw into the side of the radio front and back. Additionally, the front panel faceplate is detachable. The radio comes with a DB B9 cable to make this possible. All these features and capabilities bode well for the convenience of installing this radio. The front of the Zygu G90 high frequency radio has a few buttons and a few knobs, but it's dominated by the large color display. This LCD shows plenty of information like frequency, volume, signal, standing wave, and more. It even has a waterfall to display the frequencies. However, this isn't a touchscreen and not nearly as advanced as the displays you'd see on ICOM IC7300 or Yaesu FTDX10. Then again, these models cost almost two to three times more than the Zygu G90. Though it might be lacking in a few aspects, Zygu doesn't feel like it messes out on a lot. I like that a lot of functions for the radio can be handled with the included microphone. Apart from the conventional buttons, the microphone has a few dedicated function buttons and two configurable buttons. 
you can adjust the built-in antenna tuner for the radio completely through the microphone. Speaking of the built-in tuner, Zygu's tuner appears to be a very impressive one. Many users find it absolutely fun. The tuner will work with anything metal and use it as a decent antenna. Well, there's bound to be some loss if you don't use a proper antenna, but still, the built-in auto tuner deserves appreciation. On the left side of the radio, you'll find room for two interfaces. One of these is the standard 3.5mm audio jack where you can attach the headphone of your choice. Alternatively, you could also attach your choice of speakers here for better, clear audio. The other spot is for the self-defining interface. Simply put, you can use this spot for firmware updates or for connecting this radio to a computer. Overall, this is an excellent radio that punches above its weight. While it falls into the budget category, Zygu G90 High Frequency Radio isn't a cheap pick. Rather, it's a cost-effective and feature-rich option. Our rating for functionality is 8 out of 10. Reliability, 8.5 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Number 3. Redivus RT95 Best Mobile Ham Radio for Beginners Redivus RT95 is a dual-band mobile radio that's perfect for beginners. This compact radio is not only easy to install but also packed with features, all at a price that won't break the bank. With its petite dimensions of just 6.42 by 4.88 by 1.54 inches, it promises to be a discreet addition to your dash. But don't let its size fool you. One of its standout features is a display that can flip a full 180 degrees, offering you the freedom to install it just the way you like. The display itself is a bright, wide TFT screen that does a pretty good job, even though it's quite small. Powering the radio is a breeze. It requires a 30 13.8 volt power input and comes with a cable that hooks directly to your car's power supply. While it might work with your car's cigarette lighter, you'll need to get the right cable or connector for that. The RT95 is all about customization. It features six programmable buttons, aptly named self-defined keys by Redivus. Alongside these, you'll find a power button, a function key, a channel switch knob, and a connector for the microphone. Speaking of the microphone, it feels good in the hands with a satisfying weight to it. The PTT button is conveniently placed and has a solid feel to it. Plus, the numeric pad on the microphone lets you dial in a frequency direction Directly. When it comes to transmission, the RT95 doesn't disappoint. It offers 5 watt, 10 watt, and 25 watt transmission options. Pair it with a good antenna, and you've got yourself a radio with an impressive range. And let's not forget the speakers in the radio and the microphone that deliver loud and clear sound. Here's a fun fact for you the Redibus RT95 is a twin of the AnyTone AT778UV. They're essentially the same radio, just sporting different brand names. In a nutshell, the RT95 is a solid mobile radio. It's user friendly, competitively priced, and a breeze to install and use. Our rating for value for money is 8.5 out of 10. Audio clarity, 7.5 out of 10. Programming, 8 out of 10. Ease of installation, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. TYT MD UV380 Best DMR Ham Radio for Beginners. TYT MD UV380 is an excellent beginner radio for those who want some DMR action. It's a low cost, entry level DMR that might feel lacking in features at times but continues to be relevant, especially for beginners. It might seem rough around the edges, but it runs on a solid platform and delivers good performance. The appearance of the TYT YT MD UV380 matches its budget roots. It looks plain, average at best, and its body could perhaps be better served with a sturdier feel. The front of the radio can be seen as three sections, each of which is roughly the same size. Going from the bottom to the top, the three sections are the keypad, the color display, and the speaker. One side of the radio holds the PTT and associated buttons, while the other has room for a conventional two-pin connector for the mic and headset. The screen is bright but not very crisp and shows relevant information clearly. The screen clarity is useful as you wade through menus or program the radio. MDUV380 is front panel programmable and users can handle most of the functions right from the keypad. However, using the software can make several things move faster, like adding contacts to the radio. You will need a programming cable for some setup options though. TYT provides its own software to make this work, though users may try other firmware options as well. Notable specs on the radio include a dual band VHF UHF function, TDMA digital function, dual display, and dual standby. It is compatible with DMR Tier 1 and Tier 2 and can work with analog and digital combined. All these are very desirable features in a DMR radio and quite impressive for a radio at this price range. To make things work smoothly for several hours, the radio draws power from a 2000 Ma lithium-ion battery. The battery provides good backup, though charging it through the radio's cradle can take excruciatingly long. Users may consider buying an additional battery so an option is available while the other battery gets charged. Of course, how long the battery lasts will also depend on the usage and power consumed by the radio. The trans Transmit power here is 5 watts high and 1 watt low, although those who intend to use the radio as a hotspot can program it to go as low as 100 milliwatts. Overall, TYT MD UV380 is a feature-rich and capable DMR handheld transceiver with a proven track record. It's fairly easy to use, though programming can have a bit of a learning curve. 
Our rating for features is 8 out of 10. Value for money, 9.5 out of 10. Audio clarity, 8.5 out of 10. Display, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Number 1, Bao Feng GT3WP. Best analog ham radio for beginners. Our top choice. Bao Feng GT3WP is a great ham radio for people who are just starting out with ham radios. It's relatively cheap, it's tough, and it's waterproof. These are all things that make it a good choice for beginners. Bao Feng is pretty popular, so there's a lot of helpful stuff out there for this radio and others like it. This is really good, especially because Bao Feng's own manuals on other radios can sometimes be hard to understand. But they're getting better, and for this radio, this becomes evident. The design and build of this model are better than on older models. The body is strong, and it's got an IP67 rating for water protection. This means it can handle being submerged in water. This is great for using it outside, even in the rain. If we compare this with the older Bao Feng UV5R, you can see the improvements, but they do use different cables for programming, which can be a bit annoying. Nevertheless, that's not a big problem. And the good news is, while you can use Baofeng software to program this radio, you can also use a program called Chirp to set up this radio. There used to be some issues with this, but they've been fixed. One cool thing about the GT3WP is that it can transmit at 1 watt, 3 watt, and 5 watt. That's a good mix to find the right balance between the range you want and the battery power you'd like to spend. However, this is also one aspect where Baofeng's quality comes to the fore. The power output isn't exactly faithful to the settings and can vary depending on the batch or the specific radio. In some cases, the output can be on the high side going to 8 watts, while well, others might struggle going beyond 3.5 watts. It's powered by an 1800 mAh lithium-ion battery, which keeps it running for a long time. It also has some other cool features. It can do cross-band reception and transmission, which means it can receive and transmit on different bands. It has CTCSS and DCS tones, which are types of squelch that help reduce unwanted noise. And it has 128 channel memory. It has Vox, which means that you can give it commands by talking without having to press a button. It has DTMF and an emergency alarm, which can be really helpful in a bad situation. Our rate Ratings for value for money are 9 out of 10. Audio clarity, 7.5 out of 10. Battery and charging, 9 out of 10. Programming, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. And there you have it, folks. Those are the top five ham radios for beginners today. Remember, the best radio is the one that fits your needs and budget. So take your pick and start your ham radio journey today. Before you go, don't forget to check out this other video popping up on your screen right now. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. And as always, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos. Until next time, keep Keep those signals clear and your radio's tuned.